Hello, I'm Ben. Welcome to Acoustic Paradiso. We are here today with these, which are the new Alvarez Masterworks Elite Series guitars. They are um, really quite cool. Let me tell you about some stuff that's kind of universal across the range, and then we'll look at these uh, the different bodies and different models with a bit more detail. So uh, the finish on all of these is called Shadow Burst, but there is obviously, <laughs> There are two very different finishes. Uh, the main difference is that the tops are made of different woods. These guitars all have black walnut back and sides. Uh, the darker ones also have a black walnut top, but the lighter ones have a double A grade Sitka spruce top. So um, there we go. They all have a mahogany neck. And because it's the kind of a, the elite series, it's the, the top of the line, um, they all have real bone nuts, real bone saddles, ebony pins. They've got this really um, kind of fancy, for want, of a, <laughs> for want of a better word. So they all have uh, this Macassar ebony uh, binding with the abalone inlays, this bevel for your, uh, on the upper bout, which makes it you know, a bit more comfortable to play. Really, uh, really nice tuners, kind of Grover style tuners. And uh, they are just, you know, they're the, they're the top of the Alvarez range, made in the Far East. But I think the best and most obvious thing to do with them is to compare the sound of the walnut top versions with the spruce top versions. So that's what we're going to do. This is the uh, Grand Auditorium model. So you heard me play the, uh, this version, which is the walnut top version in the intro. I will now play something on the spruce version and you can see which you prefer. All right. So this is the uh, spruce top version of the Grand Auditorium shape. Uh, as you can tell, it's got a lighter sunburst finish, sorry, shadow burst finish, but it looks pretty cool. It's kind of um, sepia almost, I would say. <laughs> so there we go. I'm gonna give it a play now. All of these uh, demos, what you're hearing is a combination of the pickup system, uh, which th they all have an LR Bags VTC under saddle pickup, going through an AER Compact 60 at the back, and uh, this uh, Neumann KM184 microphone. And if there's anything different to the mix of those two sources, Pete will write it in the uh, edit. So here we go. So there we go. I mean, there, there obviously is a difference. I have to say it's not as big a difference as I thought there was going to be, um, which is interesting. I'm gonna see if that translates across all the rest of the models. Uh, the other thing that's worth saying is that the, the necks on these are really comfortable to play. They're kind of, well, on this, on this model, it seems to be like a slight V up at the top that rounds out as you get further down. So they're really, they're comfortable all the way up into the dusty end, so, so that's great. Let's move on and look at the dreadnoughts. So here we are, this is the walnut topped Dreadnought. Obviously it's a cutaway, that's great. Specs are the same as on the Grand Auditorium model, um, apart from the fact it's got a bigger body because it's a Dreadnought. It's the same scale length on, on this one, which is 648 millimeters. Uh, the OM that we're gonna come on to in a second has got a slightly shorter neck, but these are all the length that you would expect for a Dreadnought neck. <laughs> so here we go, let's have a listen, see what it sounds like. Sounds kind of dreadnaughty. It's got lots of bass, it's got lots of top. And uh, there we go. Let's see what the spruce version, the spruce topped version sounds like. Because this is an interesting, uh, well, interesting for me. I hope it's interesting for you. Spruce top version, dreadnought of the Alvarez Masterworks Elite Series. Let's see how this sounds. <laughs> There 
we go. I know where my 740 pounds, so, sorry, my 749 pounds would be going if I had to buy this or the walnut one. And it would be this one. That's great. The walnut one's good too, but for my money, I prefer this one. Let me know what you prefer, because um, if we all like the same things, life would be very boring. So there we go. That is pretty. It's got a very, it has got a gloss finish, but it's not like the kind of, the thick, gloopy, horrible gloss finish that you get on some guitars. It's very thin. They've made it extra thin, particularly on the top, I understand, so that you can try and enhance the, you know, the resonance of, of the top. Um, these all have the Alvarez forward shifted bracing system as well, which I don't know if I mentioned, but it's their design, which I think is the main goal is to kind of aid projection and, and clarity. So it's good. Nice guitar. I'm going to move on now to the OM versions. So we'll see how that sounds. All right. So last, but by no means least, in the Alvarez Masterworks Elite series, we have this, which is the OM model. Um, again, same specs as all the others, but as I mentioned earlier on, it's got a 630 mil scale length instead of a 648 mil scale length. So, you know, I think that equates to roughly, you know, 24.75 inches. I haven't got my calculator out, but I hope you'll forgive me if I'm a millimeter out. Um, so here we go. One thing I've, I think I forgot to mention is that all these guitars have a dovetail neck joint as well. So the construction on them is is, is really up there. Um, but let's hear what they sound like. That's the most important thing. So this, again, is the black walnut finished version. Oh, I hadn't even... Got, oh, you've got little abalone or mother of pearl inlays on the top of the pins too, which is quite cool. So, um, so yeah, they're very shiny. Cool. Getting distracted. Here we go. There we go, that's the walnut one. Let's see what the uh, spruce tops one sounds like. So here we go, the OM with the spruce top. Big difference between those two, uh, really, that's surprising because I didn't think there was that much between the between the Grand Auditorium and the Dreadnoughts with the different topwoods. There was obviously a, a slight difference, but that's really pronounced between these two. Um, what did you prefer? I think generally I preferred the spruce to the walnut, um, but that might just be because I'm more used to spruce than walnut. Um, let us know. Leave a comment down below and. Uh, I'd be interested to see see what people think because they're really I mean they're really well made guitars they're all 749 pounds so there's no price kind of to to sway your decision it cut entirely down to personal choice so there we go the Alvarez Masterworks Elite series they're in stock now and they are pretty cool so check them out we'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.